COVID-19 is maintaining its face right from the start. It has been mutating like it knows a lot about humans more than humans know it. While it may seem like a battle with an undying microbe, if we look closer, the situation is much diverse and has an adverse effect on various sectors around the world. The world economy is seeing a huge decline. Trades are seeing a record slash. Airports have become a no-fly zone. Many small-scale businesses have shut down and even hot commodities lie untouched. In some parts of the world, vegetation stands dry and unreaped. This is the widest pandemic having a world-level impact. So far, the closest standstill of the world, similar to the World War II. It is pretty obvious that the world has come to a halt, or can we quote, a purposeful adjourn. Life never ceases to throw challenges and many a times it tends to be a large-scale catastrophe. From landslides to tsunamis, droughts to floods, snow squalls to forest fires, and epidemic to pandemic, it somehow feels like nature is sending us a message. Every time the challenges get more severe, the message is getting more clear. While we are fighting against the odds, a silent recovery with the nature is taking place in harmony. Perhaps the damage done was huge, thus the contagion seems to buy more time to leave. Every time a pandemic occurs, something unusual happens, unusual to other natural calamities. When a natural disaster hits us, together with common effort, the economy somehow begins to roll. Pandemics, on the other hand, snatches our routine away, keeps a full stop to things that we have been doing and dictates us to distance ourselves from the ones we love. It threatens to take life if we violate its rule. Right from the plague of Justinian to Black Death, smallpox to third plague, SARS, swine flu, Ebola and now COVID-19, they make the most civilized species on earth to be engulfed in fear. Species who otherwise excel in reasoning, social adaptions, technology, which can circumvent any given problem, are now in fear of their own self and their surroundings. Somehow down the line, this microbe is making us realize an important lesson that we have been taking this beautiful clean planet for granted. Somehow, we lost our essence in the midst of making a living. Somehow, we forgot that we are part of the nature and not otherwise. Somehow, we lost the knowledge that survival is a glorious trait, that we not just take but also give back to nature, that greenery is bigger than rivalry, that Socialism cannot survive with unsafe environment. We hear only upon fear. It is beginning to feel like the crisis is not the plague, but lack of appreciation and responsibility towards nature. We always have waited for governments to pass laws to plant trees, fine us so we don't throw garbage on streets, make it a national property to protect our reserves and rivers, enforce strict laws to maintain public sanitation and to provide solutions for climate change. We have been dependent so much so that the plague need to stop our routine and prove that it is not just the country's orders but an individual's responsibility to respect and protect the environment. Think of all the good that would have happened in these months with reduced emissions, reduced commercial activities and reduced clutters in both land and ocean. Think of it.